What's up everybody? How you doing? It's the big dog named Austin. Man, we had a pretty pretty dominant run by the Yukon Huskies. They had a total point differential of 140 combined points throughout this March Madness tournament, the 2024 men's tournament. Most all time. Most dominant run in a tournament ever. Okay, they averaged, the average margin of victory was 23.3 points per game in this, this tournament. Absolutely dominant. Let me just go through all the scores of all six games of this tournament for the UConn Huskies. 91-52 to over Stetson, 39 points. 75-58 to over Northwestern, 17 points. 82 to 52 over San Diego State in the Sweet 16, 30 points. 77 to 52. Remember, that was the game against Illinois where they went on a 30 to nothing run in the middle of the game. They won by 25 points. In the final four, their closest game in the entire tournament, 86 to 72 over the Alabama Crimson Tide, a 14 point win. And then against Purdue, 75-60, to 15-point victory, absolutely just cruising their way to a back-to-back -back championship, which, is, which hasn't happened since 06-07, done by the Florida Gators. So, that being said, this is, in my lifetime, the most dominant college basketball team that I can think of, especially nowadays, with the transport portal, with the NIL deals, with I know what I'm gonna let him in. Hey, buddy. No, come on in here. Yeah. All right. With all the NIL deals, the transfer portal stuff, it's tough to win. It consistently like that. Like Indiana State just went on a, one of their his, more historic, one of their better seasons, and they lost Josh Shirts and uh, the, the guy's name is escaping me. Kareem Abdul Jawar, uh, Larry Nerd, Avila. I'm sorry if the name's escaping me, uh, but they're both gone. Uh, Josh Shirts went to St. Louis. Avila, he entered the transfer portal. It's tough to win this day and age in college basketball, yet UConn has done it. UConn has won six national champions in 25 years. They are 6-0. and They haven't lost a national championship game ever. UConn is a top-tier program. Now, people around the country think that, you know, since Calipari went to Arkansas, that UConn's coach is just going to be plucked out and put in Cal Kentucky. I don't, I don't see it happening. He's alluding to a three-peat, which is obviously, you know, you win this one, you're on to the next one. You know, rain and repeat. And, you know, now they've won, you know. Dude, I, I look, a very dominant run by UConn. UConn held Purdue to seven three-point attempts in this game. <clears throat> Listen, that's the lowest in a championship game since 1995. That's a 30-year, like, that's 30 years ago, the, the fewest attempts. And it's not like Purdue just didn't take these shots. UConn was smothering and didn't let them get these shots off. They were 1-for-7 from the field. 1-for-7. You, you, you're not going to get it done, okay? Zach Eady, the whole game plan from the UConn side of it, Zach, yeah, Zach Eady was going to get his, and he did. 37 points, 10 rebounds. That's his sixth double double of this tournament, which I think is most all time in a uh, NCAA tournament. Absolutely incredible stuff by Zach Eady. Seriously, like, he's probably going to be a lottery pick. He's probably going to have a solid NBA career. Somebody will find something for him to do. He's not just big, okay? He's, he's, he's really good. Uh, but that's it. You know, Matt Prainer, he's a great coach. Uh, but where do you go from here? Now, next season, I hate to say it, it's probably not going to be a national championship run. But this is something that Purdue, this is something awesome 
You know, as a Butler fan, I went through it two years in a row. Now, the second year was a little more painful than the first year. I, I really felt going into that game that we were going to beat UConn. You know, and, you know, we couldn't shoot the ball. Uh, and that, that was a tough game. We ended up losing that game by 12. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed that run. I really enjoyed both of those runs, even though we didn't get it, even though we didn't end up winning the everything. It's really hard to do. It's really, really hard to win. And there's so much talent. There's so much parity all around the country to be the second best team in the country. I know you didn't win at all, but you know, that's something right there. Uh, but man, Purdue, congratulations on a great, great season. But shout out to the Yukon Huskies on going back to back national champions. Now, they're going for number three, and I don't see any reason why they don't. Quick update I'm just going to show you mine. <clears throat> I did, I did pick Yukon. I'm pretty sure I won the bracket pool at work, so. Cool, cool, cool. I'll have an update video on that. But that's all I got. Uh, next year, maybe next year, the Butler Bulldogs. Thad Mata can get the boys rolling. Yeah, Sushi. He wanted in, and now he wants out. He wanted in, now he wants out. That's that's how it goes. Anyway, I'm the big dog named Austin. That's the Sush. Everybody, have a fantastic day. Go dogs.